Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Misha Mazel, and this is a channel for beauty and fashion for my women 40 and over, for black owned product reviews, and for lifestyle videos. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you have not subscribed to my channel, you need to go ahead and click that subscribe button because I'm always bringing new content here on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all some looks from some recent purchases that I made. I'm going to share with you all those purchases and how I will be styling those purchases for this winter season. So if you're wanting to see those styles, stay tuned. The first purchase I'm showing you all is this gray sweater dress and all the purchases that I'm going to be sharing with you all is from a store called Only Here Overseas. I did look online to see if there were any type of only stores in the States. There are. There is one store in New York, um, but all of the other ones are overseas. So that's where I'm at, but I will link below alternative places where you can get uh, outfits that look similar to what I'm going to be showing you all places where you can pick those up um, if you're interested in anything that I'm going to be showing you in this video so this first uh, look that I'm showing you all is a gray sweater dress and um, I got this in a size large and I paired it with this gray uh, type of decorative belt. I got this belt from Express and I bought this belt several years ago for a particular function that I when I bought the belt I felt like it was too much money to buy it but I'm glad that I did buy the belt because I have worn this belt with literally so many different items it is crazy so I'm glad that I did purchase it and it goes great with this sweater dress. Now I am a belt wearer. I love belts and belts to me just really bring an outfit together for me and it cuts the top and the bottom which always makes me look slimmer it doesn't make me look frumpy and it just gives and adds something to the outfit so i love a good belt um and i have it paired with some black opaque stockings from Shein and then my shoes are some silver platform shoes I got from Macy's some time ago love these platform shoes I was recently on Macy's I don't see I have not seen this color platform shoes in a while I got these when the whole silver platform shoes were kind of trend and were in style at that particular time where silver shoes were like the end thing that was a couple of years ago. I haven't found this color, but if I find a color, I definitely will link it below if you like the color and you like the platform shoes. So this is look number one. As far as what I'm doing with my face, I'm going out on this outfit. I have a pair of silver uh, hoop earrings. I don't know where I got these earrings from. Sorry about that. So um, the lipstick that I am wearing is a gray lipstick by Maybelline. It's called Sinful. And I do wear it every now and then. So I would wear this lipstick with this particular outfit because I really am feeling the whole monochromatic look that I got going on with this whole thing with the gray, the silver, and stuff like that. So I think I would just finish it off with this gray lipstick. So yeah, this is the first look with the purchase of this gray sweater dress. This is the second I purchased. This is a green dress uh, with a leopard print on it and it is so fun and so cute and just such a sexy little dress and I'm not really a green person wear. I don't wear a lot of green. I think I have maybe two other outfits that I can think of offhand that is green. Uh, green is not my favorite color but green is in season this uh this 2021 season and so i said you know what i'm just gonna try to find me a little green just something i feel like i could wear and look nice on me and i saw this on the website and i was just like okay i love leopard i'm gonna try it with a green and this is what i ended up with and i absolutely love this dress as soon as i put this dress on i was like yeah this is this is yeah i can do this i can wear this and wear it well so anyways what I really like about this is the smock material in the middle of this dress um, which I love smock material because of course it just kind of gathers everything together and they have the same mock um, smock 
smock material on the sleeves. It is, as you can see, the sleeves are these bell sleeves and um, it's got like a little scoop neck. And then it has this, this cute little fun little skirt at the bottom. It is not too short, which I was scared because I pulled out that bag and I thought, oh, okay, I'm not gonna be able to wear this. But when I put it on, it is not too short at all. It is to me the right length. Um, if I do wanna wear this to school, because I am wearing it with the same black opaque stockings that I had on with the gray sweater dress. And these black opaque stockings with this, man, I'm telling you, this is like a going out on the town, going out and having a good time, getting really dressed up for drinks or whatever. I mean, this is what this dress is all about. But if I wanna wear this to work, um, I would definitely wear either thicker leggings or, um, not thicker leggings, excuse me, thicker tights or thicker or a pair of leggings. Uh, so that's going to cover my legs up because going to school with these opaque stockings with this on, negative. All right, so that's the only change I would make if I decide to wear this to work. But otherwise, this is definitely something I could wear to work. Like I said, it's not too short. So I'm not going to be showing my business when I'm trying to teach a class, which is definitely what I don't want to do. Um, so as far as the shoes, the shoes I'm wearing, this is a regular pair of black heels. I bought this also from overseas. I don't remember what store I bought it from. They're pretty old. Uh, they're suede type of material. And then as far as the look that I have going on with the lipstick and the earrings, I have on a pair of orange and brown earrings that I got from Ghana, uh, West Africa. And then I am wearing a cream lipstick. It's in a burgundy. It's by NYX. I've had this lipstick for a long time. Yeah, I love this whole outfit. Um, yeah, I, I love this. I think it is just too cute. I do not have a belt with this because, of course, the belt's not going to go with this small um, dress. But yes, this is the second look for you all with the second purchase that I purchased for this winter season. The next purchase is this brown dress and it is an A-line dress. It has these beautiful, again, bell um, sleeves and I did pair it with a belt, okay? Um, because again, it just gives it a little something and I like the way it separates this top from this bottom. This belt I bought from Shein and yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, I still have on these black opaque stockings and I have on a pair of black boots. Now, you know, sometimes you pair something together and you're just like, mm, I'm just not liking the way everything is tying together. I don't really like the way this um, outfit is coming together as far as the shoes. Um, so I'm probably not gonna wear this with these shoes, but I just went ahead and just showed y'all just a look that could work. It's not the best though. Um, I don't really have a pair of shoes to really go with this. So I will have to definitely buy a pair of shoes to go with this outfit. Not just to go with this outfit in particular, but just a pair of shoes that will go with this that I can wear with other things. So I haven't found a pair of shoes yet. I do know that I want them to be a pair of booties because I do like the way the booties are going with this. I just don't like the black with it. But anyway, you know, sometimes things don't work the way you want it to. But as far as the face is going, um, I'm going to brown with this. I have on a pair of earrings from Mango. I've had these for a while. The lipstick I'm wearing, I'm wearing a combination of two lipsticks here. And it is uh, All May. Um, is one. I love All May lipsticks. And the other one is the Queen Collection from CoverGirl. And um, so yes, that's the lip that I'm wearing with this outfit. If I decide to wear this anywhere, this is the look that I would go for, minus the shoes. Um, so this is uh, purchase number three, look number three. Here it is, you all. So the fourth purchase and fourth outfit is this beautiful, beautiful combination that I got going on right now. And, and this is, uh, just a regular white button down collared shirt. And then this is a kind of a future purplish looking sweater vest. And if you don't know, sweater vests are in 
um and i am so 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 happy that i found one that i really 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 love i've been looking at different types of sweater vests on different types of websites and this is the one that kind of gravitated to me enough to purchase it again i have on my little belt okay because if i don't it does make me look frumpy i have on just a regular pair of leggings these are from mango and the shoes that i'm wearing are just some black boots and i got this from somewhere overseas too i don't even remember where it is but i know they have a lot of these types of boots on macy so i'll make sure to link below where you can get a boot that looks similar to these and then as far as my face i am wearing two different lipsticks i'm wearing this velvet matte lipstick from victoria's secret i've had this for a little while and then the other one i'm wearing a matte uh lipstick it's a kind of a purplish color i can't remember what this is i cannot find the name of it on here i think it's probably um nyx or something like that i'm not really for sure i'm actually out of this lipstick and i'm trying to find a replacement and then the earrings are just some regular like ball looking earrings i purchased from ghana west africa so this is the entire look for look number four so feeling this i was a little leery with the whole button down shirt uh this is the only button down shirt that i have that's this texture um and it fits me great so i know that i'm going to be able to wear this underneath sweaters i can wear it by itself yeah so i'm so excited for this um this collar shirt so this is uh look number four purchase number four and purchase number five look number five and this is um this a sweater that i bought from zara and it is a fuchsia turtleneck is what it is and a purple turtleneck is really what it is and i just have it paired with the same jeans that i got from mango the same boots just showing you all a different look that could be worn with these uh, mango jeans and then i have on the same boots and the same earrings so i'm really just kind of showing you the shirt because this shirt can really literally go with anything a pair of jeans a dress a skirt um yeah it can pretty much go with whatever uh so i just decided to pair it with these just so you can see uh a very a casual look that i will be rocking along with the look before that uh with a pair of skinny jeans i love uh, the turtlenecks from zara they're always soft they always fit well this is a size large and if you know um the zara has a variety of colors in sweaters and turtlenecks and things like that they are not very expensive i think this was maybe like 25 dollars i think for this particular sweater um and yeah so this is the last look look number five purchase number five and yeah that is everything that i purchased uh and i'm so excited to wear them out <laughs> um so yeah this is all of the looks for you all and that is it you all all of the purchases and how i'm going to wear them this fall and winter season i am michelle mizelle thank you all for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video